Okay, we're gonna wet sand the Francis. I'm using 800. Maybe it doesn't have to be that fine, but that's what I'm using. And I put a little soap in the spray bottle. You don't have to, but it does make it sand easier. As I've said before, you just have to rinse it good. With fresh water. And this hull top size is going to be painted white. This little place I had to fill and a place here I had to fill. And this is what you used right here? Yeah, just for very small, minute things. Real shallow. Yeah. You can't fill anything deep with it because it will never drop. It will never dry. And how many coats have you put on since our last video before the, this wet sand? I think this was four coats on the, on the hull. So the bottom and the keel centerboard are going to get more, but the top side is the next thing will be the prime white. So you're not even wet sanding that stained uh, bottom right now today, you're only wet sanding the top sides? Well, I'm going to wet sand everything. Oh, you are? Okay. Real carefully on that stain for people who stain their models. The only way you can tell if it's sanded good enough, you have to keep drying it to find the shiny spots. I don't think I've got it sanded good enough, but I'm going to dry it now and check it. Plus, i got to wet sand that rudder at some point. And what are you using to dry it, Dad? Well, I use Bounty myself for wet sanding. And if I was polishing, I, I usually use Viva. Leave of the finest, I think. There's still a little shine on the bottom, but I'm, I'm not worried about that. It needs a couple more coats to really fill it in. But I'll sand it just a little bit more. If you're putting a nice finish on, especially with mahogany or teak, you got to sand every bit of a shine out of the grain and that just means you have to put on a lot of extra coats. Yeah, you're going to do a teak. How many coats do you think it would take to fill teak properly for a mirror finish? Could be seven or eight easy. Oh yeah. Because teak you can sand it harder because it's not stained. Right. 
we call that knocking the grain down when you sand kind of hard to smooth it out. But you can't do that when you are staying under the varnish. Like I've said before, the old timers never did this on the original half models they made. So, if you're not worried about a nice smooth finish, don't worry about it. I've never used water-based paint. I suppose some people may have to, maybe with the environment or something, but I don't know if you can wet sand water-based paint. No, thanks, so. Um, once in a while I've used water-based varnish it dries very fast, and you can wet sand it, but no, I haven't used much of it. What brand? Well, I don't want to write. It's been years. What do I found at the local hardware store? Oh, it's like Ben Moore? No, I don't know what they had. This was quite a while ago. But if they don't want solvents, Around, I guess that's all there is. You have to. If you're not fussy about your finish, just want to make it white and a different color for the bottom, I suppose the latex paint would be fine. So you see all those little specks that are dark? That's the grain of the wood not being filled in yet on the mahogany here. You just have to keep doing more and more coats and wet sanding until that's completely filled in. And then you can do your polishing. It takes a lot of coats. You just have to be patient. Okay, that's saying it's good enough. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna rinse it with fresh water. With two spray bottles, one labeled soap, one water. Maybe when we prime this top side white, I'll try to use the phone and Bessie can prime it. That's all right. You can do it. Still have a, a lot of coats to put on the deck of the boat. Nothing's on it. So I'll have to change the blocks on the model someday and put on four or five coats. And you're going to do that gray? No. No? What color? Rub the effect varnish. Sat oh, varnish. varnish. Okay, okay, yeah. No one sees the deck badly. Yeah. It's up on a wall. I'm getting confused with that monomoy that we're also doing at work. Okay. Now the next time we show a video, we'll be priming the white. I might, in the meantime, I might put another coat on the the keel and the rubber. Okay. All right, that'll be pretty quick too. Won't be such a wait. Thank you.